it's looking very fall-esque outside weather is turned colder has turned colder uh, it's only 11 degrees outside right now but in the sun it's actually very nice uh, it's not cold in terms of that uh, even in the mornings when there's only like a few degrees if you bundle up and go for a walk it's super nice uh, and I've been enjoying uh, walking with Rita a lot I have a lot of garden things to still finish up So let's go over a few of the things that I've gotten into in the past month. So this will be the last of fall gardening. Uh, I have some things that need winter prepping, but this we will get into when the weather gets colder. So right now we still have above zero temperatures, uh, which means it's still warm and we can't prep for winter. But at the end of September, uh, I cleaned out my greenhouse finally, like fully. I uh, had some tomatoes that still hadn't changed color. Uh, some had, I uh, took them inside, put them in a cardboard box for them to ripen in dark and cool place. And I cleaned out all the plants I had there, tied up all the strings. So it would be easier for me to start in the spring. So we had quite a nice harvest at the end of September. I still had some bell peppers and everything. So we were able to enjoy uh, them for a little longer make some fresh salads and everything and my very first try at growing ginger this year was actually quite successful i'm happy how it ended so i got some that i can use to eat and oh the leaves they smelled so good too but yeah so now i have to figure out how to <laughs> um, properly use them but yeah this was uh a nice little experiment and now I know that next year I will try again definitely so I moved all the containers I use and everything so I had to make some room in my greenhouse for the things that I'm gonna store here over the winter so now I have wood chips in here in a big bag uh, that I use to cover my flower beds I also emptied out my water tank, so now I uh, have the water ha hose in the greenhouse too and my tools and everything so they are not out uh, in the weather. And why I emptied out my big uh, water tank is if it goes below zero and it, the water in it freezes, it will break uh, the water tank, so empty it out if you get minus degrees. So here I am, <laughs> I got myself uh, 10 bags of soil mixture, so I moved all my soil in here too. And these I will be using to fill up my garden beds when I mix it with my garden soil. Um, garden beds that I still haven't made, uh, it is in my to-do list. But yeah, so these are just waiting here over the winter and I will uh, mix them in in the spring. In the middle of October, I got to planting my flower bulbs. So I had a few tulips, I had a few daffodils, and uh, I use small plastic pots uh, to plant mine because we have this um, fun little rodent that lives here that is a European water vole. 
and they are basically like water rats or like we call them water rats and they love all the uh, like tulip bulbs and everything like flower bulbs they are so happy to find them and they will eat them or move them away so what i do to protect my flower bulbs is to plant them with little plastic pots and i have them already lying around from all the plants i bought or just from previous years so this is a great way for and use for them and i also like to write uh, the type or name of the tulip on the pot so this way i know if I dig them up, what color I have where. Uh, I basically fill a little bit of soil into the pot, put in the bulb and then fill the top to the top with soil and later on just dig them into the ground and they work perfectly, perfectly like that. And on a little side note, if you do have pets, please be careful because all flower bulbs can be poisonous to your pets. So if you have a dog who likes to dig or something, please sure, to, please be sure to like cover the area up or fence it in or something so they don't get into it. Make it so it's safe for your pets too. So what I also did was I planted my garlics. I had some of my own grown garlic that I uh, pulled up this end of summer and had drying <laughs> and I bought some new seed too because every few years it's good idea to freshen up your garlic seed. Uh, you can tell when you need to do it when your cloves, uh, bulbs and cloves start to be very small and I basically sectioned my bulbs or individually uh, and put down three rows of garlic cloves with uh, evenly spacing and basically I like to have my soil so soft that I can push the cloves in by hand but I did have to use uh, a weeder tool uh, for a few of them because for some reason the soil was harder there uh, so yeah this is how I planted my garlic this will be like overwinter garlic and I can pull it out probably next August One other thing is I planted wild garlic uh, or like we call it bear's garlic. So we have it actually uh, growing naturally, naturally too around here but it's uh, under like protection you can uh, collect very small amounts of it. And because I found the seeds I was like oh it makes my life so much easier. It's uh, the type of garlic you can... it's the leaves basically you can collect in the springtime. It's it can be used uh, just like garlic or to make salads and everything and pesto. So yeah, hopefully I get some plants next year. And one final little task I managed to do was fall fertilizer. So all my strawberry plants, raspberries, everything got their fall fertilizer finally. It was actually a great time because next days there was rain coming so it soaked really nice into the ground. And oh I have raspberry plants that uh, give raspberries in fall too. So I found a few berries that were very tasteful, very good. And yeah, uh, also what got the fall fertilizer were all my plant like flower pat plants. So roses, ponies, everything. And in this video I don't show myself cutting them down, but I did cut down my ponies and I still have to cut down my roses a bit more. I did like a rough cut. And yeah, this is basically it. Um, like I said, we have to cover the roses and everything soon, but 
I have to wait it is it to get, go below zero for that. So yeah. So this is all for today and I will see you next time. Bye.